guys! I'm Ariane and welcome to my channel, The Minimal Approach. Today we will sew a project bag for all your sewing accessories. We'll be using this pattern from McCall's and we'll be doing the model number B. So the first thing when you start a project, you need to look for a pattern and look at the back of the envelope at the material section to know what you'll need to get you started. Let's take a closer look at the envelope. So on the front side, you have the models A, B and C that shows a representation of the bag. When you flip it, what you really need to look at is the suggested fabric. Here we have cotton, cotton blends and interfacing and below you find cord. So that's very helpful for when you shop for fabric. You can go straight to the fabric shop and ask where the cotton is in that case. Some fabric store can be overwhelming as the fabric isn't always stored at the same place. So here, like, if you're more comfortable in yards, you can look at the English, like portion. Or if you're more comfortable in meters, like me, you look at the portion that's French in Spanish. <laughs> so the second thing you need to look at is the quantity you will need. So it's a simple table. After you choose the model of the bag you want to sew, go straight to that column and buy the quantity for every contrast you need. So I choose the B model bag, that will be the lightest portion. I buy 0.6 meters of the given fabric. Same thing for both interfacing. And I go and buy 1.9 meter of cord. The next step is to open the pattern and read the instructions. Always following the model you chose, you look at the diagram that shows you how to place the pattern on the fabric. You really should be using this instead of just like doing it like intuitively because you will avoid wasting fabric. And what is important here is that you follow the grain of the fabric. Typically that grain line is parallel to the edge of the fabric. So the grain line is showed by an arrow and then the solid lines are the lines that you need to cut so you just use your scissors and cut the pattern of the big sheet so after you cut this follow the instruction and just start sewing so the first thing i will be doing is placing the interfacing on the fabric so for this piece that will be the handle so i just overlap both the interfacing which is this fabric that will give like a little bit of thickness to our handles and then I will just stitch like a few places to just make sure it stays in place. Like you can see here, I did small stitches for the first interfacing. Okay, and then for some other pieces, I actually need to add over it another layer of interfacing. And this one, I just used the iron to glue them one over the other. So the second step is to use like a little marker, whatever you got, and put the lines that are like this little line, that's the dotted line, that's the fold line over the fabric to make sure I'm doing the right thing. That will become my fold line. There you go. After this is done, you just fold the handle in two. Press this. There you go. And I will do a straight stitch on both edges. So I'm doing a back stitch. I will do a little fold at the end to make sure it looks nice. We look at the pattern, it's just as if we fold it in two where the fold line is. And here are the two rectangles that will hold the handle onto the bag. So just like we did here, rectangle shape, rectangle shape. So what we'll do, we'll just copy those places that are on, on the pattern and we will right on the fabric to know exactly where it is. So next step, we'll sew those straight lines all over the handle and then we will put the handle on the main bag. That's it for our handle that's now well secured onto the main bag. The step after you put the handles on is to assemble both the facing and the back. 
Typically when you sew, we put both faces of the right side of the fabric together and we secure them with pins that are most of the time perpendicular to the seam. So now it's the turn of the pocket. So we'll use the two pieces that are made for the pocket. I will assemble those two pieces making sure that the triangle shape matches on both pieces of pattern. You have like this little marker that you cut since it's a solid line and you make sure it matches with this matching piece. So it does. The next step will be to attach the side pockets to the main bag. So basically what we have now is the pocket with the inside pocket. And the inside of the pocket was a little bit longer, so we just had to fold it in two, make sure we press it, and then do a straight stitch all along the edge to make sure it stays there. After that, if we look at this piece pattern, number four, there's fold line, stitch line, and another fold line. So those will be the places that the pocket goes out so you can actually place items in them. So what we do first is that we do a stitch all along all the fold lines and after that we just press on the seams just like that afterwards we use the main bag again that piece of the pattern that's the main bag put it over and we see that the handles they fit right you can see that you have many placement lines so i've marked those placement lines on the fabric and then when you place the pocket over it you can see that the stitch line is corresponding to the placement line on the main fabric sticker this so i make sure to press back stitch and the automatic thread cutter so when we're done this is what it looks like. So it's the bag, but the bag has no cover and no bottom. But we'll attack this right now. The next step is to assemble both pieces of the bottom. So those pieces have like a different shape because we want them to be able to fit in the corner. Let's sew those two pieces together. Okay, so now that we sewn those two pieces together, we will just fold the sides like this. We will open those little seams and press these ones here and we will do two straight stitch right here let's take a look at what it looks on the that's how we have our solid bottom border bag next step is to take our bottom piece and our main bag and assemble both together now this is done so the inside like the bottom of the bag is now stitched all around the bag so now we can only see like the wrong side of the fabric because both good faces are facing each other let's sew this so now that we've completed this seam let's put it inside that the next step is the inside pocket so we'll use the inside pocket piece of fabric place the inside pocket piece of interfacing and when this is secure in place we just fold this in two and we'll stitch it all around then we prepare the piece that's the front and back lining of the bag to make sure i place the inside pocket at the right place now i have my inside pocket that i seemed like all around like i'll just go ahead and place on the placement line When both inside pockets are done, the next step is to stitch them together. That will be the inside of the bag. Take our bag again. And the inside is like pretty similar to this inside, which is a good sign because it fits. So we'll just place the inside. Now we'll take those big rectangle shapes to do the part that will be overhanging the bag and we just sew them together. And then as usual we will open the seam allowance. And then to create the space for the cord to go, we will fold this following the length. And 
and then we have the final piece that will just stitch together both the inside and the outside of the bag So the next step is to sew in the inside of the bag, the binding of the bag on the inside. So that's what we'll do just now. And the final step, if you want to add like a little, little piece of fabric over it and then you put the cord here so it can just like squeeze in and if the bag fell, like the content of the bag won't spill out everywhere. So I will do this. So like this side in the bag and then I will put the cord in the hole we made previously. Thank you so much for watching. This is it for this video. If you liked it, subscribe or give us a thumbs up. See you in the next sewing video.